Welcome to this podcast from Stratfor, leader in global intelligence. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the Stratfor Daily Podcast for Thursday, August the 6th. I'm Marla Dial. An American special envoy is visiting Georgia today on the eve of the first anniversary of that country's war with Russia, which took place mainly in the breakaway South Ossetia province. The envoy, Dan Freed, figured prominently in the U.S. response to the war last year. But he's now a special State Department envoy assigned to dealing with issues at Guantanamo Bay. So it's not exactly clear what his mission is in Tbilisi today. He says he's there to meet with friends. But it's been easy to see over the past few weeks, and especially over the past few days, that tensions between Georgia and Russia are running high as the war anniversary approaches. Just a quick skim of the headlines from that region should give you a sense. Russia's claiming that the Georgian military is aggressively rearming with help from the United States and Ukraine. Officials in Tbilisi and Washington deny this. Meanwhile, police in South Ossetia have been placed on alert today over events marking the war anniversary, and the president of the breakaway province has closed its southern border with Georgia. Mortar fire has been reported from both sides of that border in recent weeks, and Moscow has warned that it's capable of carrying out airstrikes in Georgia proper. And the list goes on. The tensions aren't confined to Russia's near abroad either. Last month, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden contributed to those tensions when he traveled to both Ukraine and Georgia, and then said very publicly that Russia's economic weakness would eventually force it to cooperate with the United States on security issues. The Russians admit they're irritated. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says Biden's comments are more like something you'd expect from a Bush administration official. That seems to be meant unkindly. But more to the point, this week, we've seen nuclear-powered Russian submarines patrolling waters off the east coast of the United States. That's been very rare in the post-Cold War era, and it's hard to argue that there's no connection here. But there's something troubling in all this, and it has to do with just how much hype there's been over the situation in Georgia. For one thing, after all of this buildup, there'd be no element of surprise if the Russians wanted to touch off another military conflict but there also wouldn't seem to be any tangible gains to be had. Militarily, the Russians have gained and kept the upper hand in that region since last year's war and can easily cut off the main lines of supply into Tbilisi. Call it a spidey sense or just the instinct that comes with years of studying Sun Tzu and the behavior of nations, but all the furor over Georgia just might be a distraction. The Russians waving frantically with the left hand while doing something more subtle with the right. Exactly what that something might be is not yet clear, but it would be tied to Russia's very real struggle with the United States for influence on the global stage. Stratfor analysts are following these issues and possibilities on our website. You can find out more by logging on to www.stratfor.com. Be sure to check out our special coverage on Georgia. That's our podcast for today. I'm Marla Dial. Thanks for listening, and have a great Thursday.